In this session, we discuss one of the properties of bulk particles, namely the surface area. Now, the basic idea here is that measuring the surface area is really complicated. So, you want to measure something that's easy to do and then estimate other properties by using that measured properties. We know that measuring the time is easy. That's why in many cases, the time is measured and other properties are estimated. In the same way, measuring the mass is easier than measuring the surface area. So, we we'll see how to measure mass and diameter and then estimate the surface area using those measurement. In estimating the bulk of particles, we'll assume some properties are known. We'll assume that the density is known and also we'll assume that the specificity is known. In most cases, we'll assume that it's the same material, however, of different sizes. So within the bulk, there is one material, however, with different size. So with the size distribution. Now first, we'll look at a bulk of equal size particles. And use that idea to estimate the surface area for bulk of particles when the sizes are not equal, meaning there is a size distribution. Just to list the assumptions, we have the sphericity and the density. These are known. So this is the assumption. Again, just to mention that the use of sphericity is to estimate other properties. And this is one of the use of the concept of sphericity to estimate the properties of bulk particles. Now for equal size particles, if you look at the total surface area of a bulk, we can write it like this, which is the total surface area. N is the number of particles and SP is the surface area of one particle. So this gives you the total surface area of the bulk of particles. Now we can get n by dividing the mass of the particles with this density and volume of one particle. So if you multiply the volume of one particle by its density, you get the mass of one particle and you divide, divide the total mass by the mass of one particle that will give you the total number of particles in that bulk. So you have this m to be mass of the bulk, dp is the volume of one particle, and rho p is the density, and n is the number of particles. Now here comes into play the concept of sphericity. So we get now n a equals, if we replace simply n by we get the total surface area. Now we know the definition of sphericity to be 6 over dp sp over vp giving sp over vp equals 6 over pi s d p. Now if you use this definition here in this equation we have a equals m over rho p 6 over pi s d p. So you see here that you can Estimate the total surface area of the bulk of particle by knowing its mass, the density, the sphericity, and the diameter of an individual particle. Now, this is when you have the particles to be of equal size. Now, for the second case, if you have bulk of different sizes. Now, when you have a bulk of particles with a size distribution, you need to know the mass of particles in each size. So if there are n different sizes, you need to know what is the mass in each sizes and what is the diameter of particles belonging to each size group. And that's known typically by this, what is called this 
say screen analysis when you do screen analysis you separate the particles over different screens and from the opening of the screen you get the size and from the mass you get the distribution of mass of particles among different sizes so now if we have mi belonging to the ith group dpi is the diameter of particle belonging to the ith group and ai is the total surface area of particles belonging to the ith group you can then write ai from this definition will be mi over Here do remember that we are assuming the same particles of different sizes so the rho p is constant also the phi s the sphericity is constant. Now if a i is the total surface area of the i th size so you can have this total surface area will be equal to the individual surface area belonging to the each group. So the surface area it can be added. So you have summation of a i which gives you you see in this equation this 6 rho p and phi s those are constant we have m i over d p i. Now this is the total surface area. Now if you want to estimate the specific surface area which is really a over m meaning the surface area per unit mass of particles so you get a 6 over phi s rho p you simply divide by m i a w to be m i over m will give you the mass fraction x i and diameter belonging to each group. So here look at the basic idea that mass fraction is easy to calculate, diameter is easy to calculate and when you have those measured using the sphericity and density you can calculate the surface area this is the specific surface area and this is the total surface area of the bulk of particles